Imagine, if you will, drifting through the endless expanse of the cosmos. A vast and infinite void, punctuated only by the twinkling of distant stars and the silent hum of your spaceship. You and your crew, a band of intrepid space explorers, find yourselves stranded on an eerie, seemingly deserted space station. The station, a hulking behemoth of metal and technology, is devoid of life. Its halls echo with the ghostly whispers of silence, casting a pall of unease among your crew. The once bustling hub of interstellar activity now lies in an unsettling quiet, its secrets locked away in the shadowy corners and vacant rooms. With each passing moment, the artificial sun dims, casting long, creeping shadows that hint at the impending nightfall. The crew's hearts beat in unison with the ticking of the cosmic clock, their breaths hitching as they brace themselves for the unknown. As the artificial sun sets and the station plunges into darkness, a chilling realization dawns. They're not alone. Nightfall in space is unlike any earthly night. It's a darkness that swallows everything. It's a void that hushes the bustling cosmos, fills it with silence, and leaves it echoing with the whispers of fear. This is not the benign darkness of an earthy nightfall where the moon keeps vigil and the stars twinkle in peace. No, this is an alien darkness, devoid of comfort, where shadows grow teeth and the unknown becomes a predator. As the lights of the station dim, a shiver of dread ripples through the crew. Their hearts thump in unison, a drumbeat of panic in the silence. The once familiar hum of the station fades into an eerie quiet, replaced by the low, haunting moan of the station's hull as it contracts against the cold. The crew exchanges glances, their faces pale, their eyes wide with the reflection of their own fears. Suddenly, the silence is broken. A metallic clang echoes down the empty corridors, followed by a soft skittering like claws against steel. The crew freezes, the sound curling around them like a spectral hand. Then, from the corner of their eyes, they see it. Shadows shifting, moving, coiling around corners like living things. The suspense is a living entity now, its breath cold against their necks. It thrives in the darkness, feeding on their fear, growing stronger with each passing moment. The crew finds themselves stalked by an unseen entity, a predator lurking in the shadows, waiting, watching. As the station descends further into darkness, the crew is left grappling with the terrifying unknown. The echoes of their own footsteps become the footfalls of a phantom stalker. Every flicker of light, every creak of metal, every breath they draw becomes a harbinger of danger. And then, as the final sliver of light disappears, a chilling realization settles in. They are not alone. The shadows are not mere absence of light, they are alive, pulsating with malevolence, and they are hunting. A realization settles in, the shadows are alive and they are hunting. In the blackness of space, the hunt has begun. The chill of the unknown has turned into a tangible terror. The space station, once a beacon of sanctuary, now echoes with the silent screams of the crew members picked off one by one. Each disappearance intensifies the dread that fills the cold, metallic corridors. The entity, unseen but ever-present, is a spectre in the shadows. It's not just hunting the crew, it's playing with them, toying with their fears, basking in their desperation. Each heartbeat, each shudder, each whispered prayer, it savours as a predator would its prey. The crew members, a diverse group of explorers, scientists and soldiers, are united by their primal fear. Their desperation is palpable, their courage tested at every turn. Their survival instincts have kicked into high gear, their minds racing against the unseen clock as they try to outwit the lurking entity. There's the captain, a seasoned space traveler who's seen more than his fair share of cosmic horrors. The scientist, her mind a whirlwind of theories and solutions, desperately trying to understand the entity. The engineer, his hands calloused from years of hard work, now clutching a makeshift weapon. The medic, whose trembling hands had healed many, now preparing for the worst. Together, they form a fragile alliance, their individual strengths and weaknesses playing off each other in a desperate symphony of survival. They strategize, they improvise, they cling on to hope with everything they've got. But as each moment passes, their numbers dwindle. The entity is relentless, its hunger insatiable. The crew members, once confident in their spacefaring abilities, now face a terror beyond their comprehension. Their hopes and dreams, their plans and aspirations, all reduced to a single, all-consuming thought. Survival. And as the crew members huddle together, their breaths hitching in the eerie silence, the starlight outside begins to dim 
as if the universe itself is holding its breath. In the face of terror, the remaining crew members make their stand. On the brink of despair, our band of intrepid space travellers find within themselves the strength to confront the unknown. Their survival instincts kick into high gear as they scramble to formulate a plan, a last-ditch effort to turn the tables on the malevolent entity hunting them. Each person brings to the table a unique skill set, honed over countless voyages across the vast expanse of the cosmos. The engineer, with her vast knowledge of the space station's inner workings, devises a cunning trap. The biologist, with his understanding of extraterrestrial life forms, provides insights into the possible behavior of the entity. The pilot, with his quick reflexes and keen sense of timing, is tasked with springing the trap at the right moment. Together, they work with a single-minded focus, their previous squabbles and disagreements forgotten in the face of the common enemy. The once deserted space station becomes a hive of activity as they rig the trap, their movements precise and purposeful. The air crackles with tension, the suspense building with each passing second. As the trap takes shape, the crew members can't help but feel a glimmer of hope. They've faced down numerous challenges before, but none quite like this. It's a gamble, they know, but it's one they're willing to take. With each tool set in place, each mechanism checked and double-checked, they retreat to a safe distance, their hearts pounding in their chests. The once bustling station falls eerily silent. The only sounds the distant hum of machinery and the ragged breaths of the crew members. The trap is ready. The stage is set. All that remains is for the entity to spring the trap. They wait, their collective breath held, their eyes glued to the spot. It's a battle of wits now, a test of their mettle against the cunning of the entity. The trap is set. The stage is ready. Now it's a waiting game. The starlight flickers ominously as the final act unfolds. Under the pulsating glow of distant stars, the trap snaps shut, revealing the lurking entity in all its terrifying grandeur. Imagine, if you will, a spectre of the cosmos, a silhouette that warps and distorts the starlight around it. Its form is fluid, shifting, an embodiment of the unknown horrors that space conceals within its vast expanse. The crew's reaction is a mix of terror and awe, they stand frozen, caught between the desire to flee and the inability to look away. But survival instinct prevails. They muster the courage, the sheer will to live, propelling themselves away from this cosmic nightmare. In a flurry of action, they scramble aboard their spaceship. The engines roar to life and they make their daring escape. As the station recedes into the distance, the starlight reflects off the spaceship's hull, a beacon of hope against the blackness of space.